What's up? Welcome back, dudes. Today, we got something kind of cool to check out in which I saw on Amazon and I thought I need it. I need to do it. I need to get it. It's going to be beneficial for me as a, as a broadcaster. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what this thing is. So let's just get on into it because this thing has me hopefully happy that i spent 80 dollars on this thing so without further ado this product's brought to you from uh nomodo nomodo i'm not sure if that this thing is uh here's the size of it uh to give you an example uh xbox controller uh you can see just how maybe big this thing is and uh it's got me quite excited because this product here happens to be something that I feel like most people need at their desks and I feel like most people don't think about it until it's on their desk and it's just been sitting for a while and that is this product that looks like a speaker now this is their product that I saw online and I thought yeah I'm, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need one of those right now some of you guys already know I, I I looked at this product while I was streaming and I decided to go ahead and make the purchase $80 79.99 I hate that one penny thing I hate that thing when they're like uh oh, let's let's put it 9.99 just say it's ten dollars man come on I don't I don't want to I don't want to deal with your your penny saver to make it look cheap whatever eighty dollars let's get into it uh, this box came with uh, a couple of other boxes inside. Maybe this this looks like a little filler action or something. And then over here we got uh, your power supply. You got a smart cup and uh, instructions and more packaging. Anyways, uh, in, inside this little box here, we got ourselves a little little. It looks like it comes with a uh, a little pla This is this feels cheap. This is like a plastic, uh, but like metal on the inside. You hear that it's metal and then over here it's it's plastic it comes with this little oh oh it's like a wait is that to keep your drink like warm cold what it looks like it's just your standard wall charger with a proprietary you know probably 12 volt uh power supply so we gotta plug this bad boy in and uh kind of see what this thing is all about got ourselves maybe like a five-ish foot cable i got your little uh got your little ac power supply right here and leave that plugged in so this thing actually has another feature that i haven't really talked about yet and that is that it has wireless charging on the top of the device so while you're while you're using this device you can also charge your phone on one side while keeping your drink cold or hot on the other yeah cold you heard me right cold or hot which is mind-blowing because i drink cold stuff all the time i love me some cold stuff i don't drink coffee i don't drink tea the fact that this exists to cool down my drink uh seems amazing plug in the power cord i got that part step two press power button once to activate cooling press the second time to activate the heating feature so a little led it's a blue led light you can't really tell but it's a blue led light came on and then uh you hit it again and it turns red and i guess that's for for heating and it is in fact slowly getting warm oh that's getting warm fast i mean i guess it makes sense right literally electricity is just flowing through this thing then you got your uh, your last little power button again and then it turns it off so you got cold mode hot mode and off mode now, before I actually get this thing going, will this actually charge my phone while I'm... Hey, not bad. That's great. All right, so we got the phone charging right here on that side. Uh, in the middle right here is a little tiny blue LED, and I think that's to indicate that you're actually using the charger. Yeah, the LED goes off. LED goes on. The key charging is uh is intact and working and uh on to the next step okay so i'm gonna go ahead and set this to cool mode i'm gonna find something kind of cold to drink here while we uh see if this thing actually gets cold i'm skeptical man i'm skeptical that this is not gonna really function the way that i think it should it's like you know it's like touching a cold floor right now nothing crazy but i'll come back i'm gonna get something 
that I can put in this cup, and I guess we'll go from there. Uh, I got myself a nice little, uh, a little, uh, Sprite in a can here, and, uh, I'm gonna touch this thing. Where's, where's my phone? I gotta make sure that's still charging, right? So, you know, just keep, keep on going. And touching this thing, and, I oh mean, it, it's cold. It's got a weird buzz to it. Not buzz, but it, like, vibrates in a very strange way. Like, I don't, I don't know how to describe this other than, oh, wow, this is blasting out heat out of the side. This thing is putting out some, this is like a, this is like a, a freaking furnace coming out the backside of this thing. So I assume this area is the vent, the heat that is coming out. Wait. There's a fan right here too, man. So as your phone's charging, there's a little fan that's also blowing out air to maybe keep your phone cold. I don't know how useful that is. I put my fingers on here. It's pretty cold. Putting a little bit of Sprite up in here and just letting it sit on that and we'll just count for, I don't know, a little bit. Oh, that was a dumb test. You know why? This is already cold. I'm an idiot. Okay, so I went and got a very small amount of uh, tap water. Uh, so it was, you know, room temperature. There's nothing that is definitely room temperature and gross. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to leave that on, uh, on here and I guess I'll just walk away for, uh, a few minutes, come back and we'll, we'll take a look at how cold it's gotten. Uh, I don't have a thermometer, so I can't really judge the, I can't tell you the temperature. Can't do it. But anyways, we'll be right back. I'll come back in like five minutes and we'll check in and see how this thing's doing. Okay, it's been uh, about seven to ten minutes or so. Again, we had a little bit of water in here, and I'm going to go ahead and just take a nice little sip of this bad boy. That's pretty cold. I mean, it's certainly colder. I think there's got to be like a uh, like a limit on how cold this thing stays. But I put, a, I put about like about an inch or so of water in there, and it's... It's almost like there was an ice cube in there this whole time. That's not, that's not bad at all. It's certainly not amazing. It is not fresh out of the, uh, the refrigerator cold, but if you were to have a cold beverage, this would potentially keep it colder for just like that much longer. And not only is this, uh, you got this like mug that comes along with it, but I think it has the perfect grooves to fit, uh, you know, a can literally right inside of the notch right there. I know I squished the can, I can't help it. It literally fits perfectly inside that little notch and that's just a regular can. So, you know, if you have your, your energy drinks, your Coca-Colas, your Mountain Dews, your Sprites, your, your uh, whatever you have it that comes in a regular can, your beer, anything, uh, it's gonna keep that bad boy uh, cold, real cold. And uh, not only that, but there's also the, uh, the heating factor of it and granted, I don't really, I don't really drink a lot of hot drinks, but the fact that I put my finger on that a little while ago when it was warming up and just barely warming up, it was pretty hot. I mean, you're talking about electricity, which is hot in its own, and it's just literally baking right into that little tiny, this little metal thing on the bottom here. I have a feeling that thing is going to stay mighty, mighty hot. I'm, I'm thinking that this, uh, this little cooler here, which is pretty cold to my, you know, my pinky. Again, it's not like I'm touching an ice cube. Well... Okay, the more I'm pushing on this thing, the actually that's pretty effing cold. I'm not gonna lie. So I just put my palm on that thing for however long I just did, uh, 10 seconds. And I actually, it actually felt like I had an ice cube sitting on my, my hand. That was cold. This thing's pretty nifty. All right, let's try this again. That's cold. That is cold. It's wild how cold this is to the touch now. At first, it wasn't. It takes it takes time to get the, the, the juices flowing. You know what I mean? It takes time, I guess. Let me, get a, let me get a warm can of soda. I'll stick it on this bad boy. We'll let that stand for a while, and we'll come back in about 30 minutes, and I'll see how, uh, how wild that thing is. So uh, stay tuned. It has been about an hour now that I've been letting this sit here. I came in twice to just come in. I gave it a little twirl and I put it back down. The drink, this is a warm, this is a warm soda earlier. So here we go, an hour in. I don't know, it, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. 
it's not that cold but considering that the can itself is pretty chilled from about here down it's pretty chilled and i'm wondering if i'm only getting the top liquid you know what that's acceptable it's not cold but that's acceptable and you're i'm talking this is a hot room i had my ac turned off this room's probably like 80 degrees i think it probably works better with something that's getting more of the actual the the cold unit to touch the can whereas you know you look at the bottom side of a can and it's got this really heavy uh concave curve to it so i'm only touching the very tip the very edge and that's the only thing that was transmitting any sort of cold and yet this is like you know it's like you took a soda out of your refrigerator and left it out for maybe 20 minutes and then you're drinking it however what i do think this could be good for is whenever you get a soda whenever you get something to drink you know usually you're, you're sitting there it's cold right when you got it you're drinking it down as you drink it it gets warmer however if you're using this thing as you're drinking it and you're setting it back down you're slowly helping it keep the last remaining bits colder and colder and colder until it gets here to the end in which case you're going to have something that's a lot colder than what you would normally get so it's not going to keep your drink ice cold like you're putting in a in a block of ice but it is certainly going to help it out and depending on the type of cup this cup might be actually really really good considering it's very well insulated as well as it has that metal on the inside which i think if i uh were to fill this bad boy up and maybe i will maybe i'll do another test real quick maybe this contraption is better because more cold is being conducted through this bottom side of this mug so i'm gonna try that because this thing is so flat on the top here I think it actually might work a lot better and this might actually cool down the beverage of your choice that much better all right so it's been about another 20 30 minutes here i have to say i'm i'm eager to find out if this cup kind of makes a difference uh already right off the bat just grabbing this cup it's a little bit cold you know it's it's cold but it's not freezing by any means I think it's gonna fall in line with what I was talking about, how you set it as you are maybe drinking your uh, your beverage or whatever, and as it's going lower, you're keeping that chill a little bit extra. Plus, you might have this little benefit of uh, maybe you're get, giving yourself a little little heater blast. Maybe in the maybe in the winter, you get that thing right next to your keyboard, and you know th this this heat coming out here maybe extends to about you know pretty far. You know, you got my hands like you know about. 16 inches away from this thing and i'm feeling the warmth so that could be another plus for you guys that need hand warming of some sort you know at your desk at your mouse at your keyboard uh but then also you know just the luxury of having this be extra cold and cooling your beverage as you're uh you're sipping on it could be really really nice so i'm gonna try this out for another uh you know a week or so pretty cool i'm into it the, the charger's a nice touch i'm gonna keep this on my desk Got a little bit of room on my desk here so why not just throw it down and uh, if you ever want to come by and ask me about it come on by and if i still got it running i'll uh i'll let you guys know but you know until next time uh have take it easy uh more gear reviews in the future again this is the key this is the wireless key certified fast charger with mug warmer drink cooler from nomoto so go check them out i think their products on amazon i'll put the link down in the description below uh and you guys can go take a look yourself Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Whatever you're doing, I'm going to go finish off this movie, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.